Aw, cute. Uh. Whiskers, puss, 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 puss. Whiskers. Never been a bit clean, do you? Just about here is purring. Oh, he's happy, all right. Huh? Gotta love cats. Get out of here as well. The side to give this batch a bit of a desulfate. I have to just let it go over the whole weekend and see how it comes up. I did um before off camera. Hooked up like a pasta bank to it. Just gave a couple of good, really big pulses to try and see if that made any difference. Because basically, what a desulfate does. Some traps just produce a pulse. You just put high energy pulses in the battery to try and break up the uh, lead sulfate in the plates. So I tried that in my capacitor bank and, and some lead came off. So there's plenty of energy in there. Hopefully it's uh, may not, may, the pulses may, may not have been big enough, but hopefully it's freed up some of the um, lead sulfation in those plates. Just going to get it a run over the whole weekend without desulfate and see if that um, improves it. The um, battery, the hydrometer test, it came up fair, borderline on fair and recharge. So the, the previous uh, other battery came up okay. So let's see how this and it comes up. It has had a hard life. It's a 720 cold cranking amp. But hopefully this uh, thing here will um, do its job if I leave it on for long enough. Because these types of desulfators don't work um, uh, to their full potential overnight, you've got to leave them on for a while, depending on the, how bad the battery is. Speaking of my capacitor bank, I'm going to um, make a little coil uh, gun. I'm going to give it a test. Some uh, PVC pipe and a little coil. I'm not sure that's about eight turns on there. I'll leg it up and see if it, um, I can launch anything with it. It may not be enough um, capacitance, but we'll see. Just got the smart meter hooked up here on the battery charger. We'll use 200 watt hours so far since I hooked it up this morning. Okay, if you always imagine that Fibber still got a little vector fire, soldered on some proper leads, proper positive and negative leads, so they're permanently on there, and they're dodgy bloody jumper leads everywhere. Jump a lead there, go on to me uh, coil. Let's give it a test. Got a light bulb here, that will dim when it's capacitor, as a capacitor's charge, that will dim. Alright, so. Give it a test. There you go, capacitor's a charge. Perfect, that light setup works great. Beautiful. Alright, I get finished setting everything up and we'll give it a test. Okay, if you also give it another test, hit power on. Test is charged, the light bulb dims, that's good. That's what you use if you don't have a barrier. It pins it, see what it does. Doesn't move. Okay. Need more energy. No, it doesn't work. Need more of a thump in that coil to get that to shoot out. Alright. Unplug that. Safety first. Discharge. Direct discharge. Just make sure it's completely flat. It is unplugged, just gotta be careful. Capacitor max. Alright, well that didn't work at all. That didn't even move, not even an inch. Got an experiment of numbers of turns. I may need a smaller coil than a lighter projectile. Looks pretty heavy for something like that. What I really need is a bloody power factor correction capacitor. I think one of those is about 5.25 microfarads and about 13.8 kV, so they stand about a metre high by that. Six inches thick, a big, uh, almost as big as a 44 gallon drum. Had half a dozen of those, it'd be nice. 
All right, let's try something else. Okay, viewers, let's finish off this circuit board. Plug that in. It's charged, the light goes out. Whoa, well, the charge is a lot bigger across that resistor for some reason. I'll try to keep the camera on a subject here, hold it with my left hand, this camcorder. Got to get used to the um, looking at the screen here. There we go, that's better. Now I can see it. Whoa, it's a big bang. I've got safety glasses on, so that's a must when you're blowing stuff up. You don't want to get debris flying in your eyes. Alright. Made a hell of a lot of energy direct into one of those electrolytics to explode it before the vent lets um, pressure out. Yep, that was ground rail by the looks of it. Whoa! Something went pop. Something's gone pop on that board. Nice bangs. Definitely need some more capacitors. There we go, carbon composition resistor. I had a heap of microwave oven capacitors, that would be awesome. There you go. The cat doesn't seem to be phased. Caps haven't gone short to ground. There we go. Not sure why, but if I go direct to here, it's not quite as big a bang. But when I go through the circuit board, that's just a louder bang. Not sure why. Even though those components are well, well and truly dead, those capacitors wouldn't have been doing any difference because they'll be, probably be stuck from the pulses I've been doing with this. Probably to do with the resistance, I suppose. Yeah, caps are okay. Alright, let's try something else. Power off. Unplug safety first, discharge, leave it there for a bit and I'll put this um, H4 across it. Hopefully it goes bang and explodes and everything. So this some interesting, uh, get some interesting results putting stuff like this across a capacitor bank. Let's wire it up and see what it does. Okay, I'll get the camera on subject here. Ah. Oh. I was expecting the envelope to go bang. Glass to fly everywhere. That wasn't very exciting. It's already popped. Alright. Unplug safety first. Discharge. Leave that there on the short. Yeah, just vaporize the filament. Oh. It wasn't so spectacular as I thought it was going to be. Leave that shorted. Yeah, there's blue there. Need more capacitance. All right, let's try something else. And there it is there, the filament. Stuck to the envelope. Got hot and 
Yeah, that's what it did in there today and got stuck to the glass. There you go. Almost uh, got a completely blown light bulb, but it wasn't enough from energy in that to blow the glass envelope up. Let's have a close look at this. That was just to go through there to that IC, and that heat sink goes isolated track to ground, which goes through these resistors. The Xena died, which is obviously bad. Dunno, but the bangs off this side just here are pretty darn interesting. There you go, bowl jack capacitor there. I'll unsolder these and I'll just discharge the heap into um discharge all that into this directly and see what it does. Hopefully I'll um I'll go pop. Plug that in. It's charged, gotta be careful here. The camera set up. Let's see if it blows the capacitor up. Oh. Might have to hook it up the wrong way. See what that does. Unplug. Discharge that. The little cap there still holds charge, see? Alright. Let's put it on the wrong way. See if that does any more damage. Alright. Plug it back in. Set this up. Alright. Power's on. Get the screen so I could see it. There we go, I can see it there. Not enough energy. Need more energy to blow those caps up. No. Just not enough energy. Power off. That's discharged. Alright. Oh, it got hot. Oh yeah, it got hot. Yeah, instantly shorted it. It's gone. Let's try something else. Okay, if you was got a flat alkaline battery in ever ready general purpose. Let's thump this battery, see if there's any skits in your charge. It still rolls itself. Alright, unplug safety first. Discharge that. Nice bang. Leave that shorter out. That's better. Let's give this a voltage check, see if it accumulated any charge. It's a bit warm. Let's see if we uh, achieved anything. Okay, if you just test this battery. One point three volts. Hmm. It was quite flat before, but yeah. Seems to have charged it up a little bit. Okay, viewers. That'd be enough for now, so thanks for watching.